So, as you guys have probably noticed, I've been playing a lot of anime adventures, a lot of clicker games, um, anime world tower defense, I was playing that game a ton. I have not forgotten about anime fighters and later, I know that game is still there, I still love that game. There just isn't like an update for me to play right now, so until the weekend I'm not playing it. But, in today's video, smash the like button. I'm going to show you how to quickly get to level 20 um, because some people are kind of confused as to how they can like level up faster and what's the best way to get units and so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you the two different things you need to be doing if you're trying to A, level up faster and B, level up your units faster. So smash the like button right now. Can we get up to 500 likes? That'd be amazing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the intro now. It's time for Who Wrote, Wrote That, that comment? comment? It's Hunter Games. So, something that not a lot of people know, right off the start, I'm just gonna say it again, I'm gonna say it every video. The code section is right over here, okay? Now, I don't think there has been any new code, so you guys are just gonna have to check out my other video for the codes. Um, but let me just check their announcements really fast. Announcements. Uh, there's 60,000 numbers, all right. So the last code that was on here was code 2 million, like this, 2 million. So you guys can redeem that code, okay? I've already redeemed every, every code so far. Uh, yeah, so one of the first things I actually wanna show you guys in the summon area is this vendor right here. Guys, you should be saving up your fruits, or your gems sometimes to get the vendor's traveling merchant shop. There's the star fruit, and occasionally, in this merchant shop, if you run all the way over here, ugh, such a far run. Uh, hey, look, it's the place where I was at yesterday, the leaderboards. Yeah, that's me, okay. Um, over here on the evolved area, if you talk to Deerus, those merchants will occasionally sell these items right here. I'm currently working on getting a divine eye because that's gonna be able to let me evolve my moderate. Let me show you real quick you'll only be able to see the units you can evolve by coming over here. So go over here, pick your unit like Broly. I can't click on him. You see, he's already evolved because I just evolved him yesterday. But if I go down to where Madara is, I can click that evolve button right there and you can see it's gonna cost me two of the eyes. He gets 20% damage and then he gets something called Susano Fire. So I'm thinking that means that he's gonna be able to do fire damage now which is going to make him extremely good, um, probably just as good as Broly, because Broly's like the heaviest hitting unit in the game, and then Madara is just really good in general, except for the fact that he doesn't do AoE damage, so yeah. Alright, anyways, first things first, running all the way over here, Time Machine, this is what I've been doing AFK, you see all these gems I have right there guys, 1,500 gems, all I did was sit AFK in the Time Machine for like seven hours or something like that. I went to sleep and I woke up and I had like plus 1200 gems. That was a ton of gems that I got from sitting AFK in the time machine. Very, very good. Okay, let's see. First thing I wanna show you is go over here. Usually people are gonna think, oh, let me go do the hidden sand village and like act six, it's gonna give me more experience. That is wrong, guys. That is wrong. The one thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Planet Namek, choose Act 1. That's it. Choose Act 1, Normal, Select, and you can start by yourself. You don't even need your friends to do this with you, especially if you've like played the game a little bit. Go to Planet Namek, World 1, and you are going to see the difference it'll make in leveling up your units. If this really helps you, you guys need to smash the like button, like I said, because I need 100% transparent with you guys here. Currently, before there's any bug fixes or anything like that, this is the best way to farm. Now, um, I didn't bring any cheap units, so what I kind of do is I wait out the first round, and once the auto skip is on, I'll go ahead and just click uh, auto skip because uh, it's gonna give me cash. And then these units right here, I won't have to worry about them because I can just place this Erwin right here, which if you guys do not have Erwin, you're gonna need to get Erwin. Every like 12 seconds, he's gonna spawn a horsey that's gonna, uh, or the cavalry, sorry, the cavalry, you know, the, the survey courts. 
and they're gonna come. Look at that. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. That's illegal music. Ah, okay. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Could have gotten copyright right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have Erwin summoning here. He has the Survey Quartz members coming through, and they are going to obliterate these units. Anyways, I'll be right back um, when I get to the end of the waves. I'm just going to go ahead and just, like, defeat this really quickly and show you guys that I'm going to get as much XP here as I get from doing any other world. So we're at the start of uh, wave 15. Yes. And look, Zardon, easy. Easy keezy peasy killed. Yes, this, this is pretty easy because it is the first snap in the game. But now look, I get... 50 player experience in 7 minutes and 17 seconds. Next, what you gotta do, you get the Senzu Bean Coins, which is, er, Beans, which are okay if you're just starting out in the game, but they're really not that useful if you're trying to feed into your unit, unless you have thousands of them, which I, I doubt anyone actually does, as I only have six of them. But, now, you're gonna wanna come all the way over here, and you're gonna wanna create a map on the last world because this, oh my gosh, this map right here will actually be what you use to get character XP. Not player XP, but characters such as my Broly. And you guys will see what I mean now. But the only thing is that the actual player experience, aka your account experience, nothing is going to change. You are still going to get 50 experience for doing the Hidden Sand Village map. I kind of make a mistake here and I did not bring my uh, Yen unit, so this is going to take me a little bit longer than it usually should, but you'll see how this is so helpful when it comes to getting unit XP as opposed to player experience. So let me go ahead and just destroy this and I'll be back once we're close to finishing it up. This map definitely requires me to focus a little bit more than the first map. Well, not a little, a lot a bit more because I've already had to max out, well not max out my irons, but get them really strong. And then I also had to like work on getting Broly to the point where he can at least hit people in like a straight line beam like that. Um, if not, I just don't do enough damage against all these enemies. You see, there we go, Broly attack them. We're doing okay so far, but it's definitely a lot more work. I have to be a lot more active in this stage. As opposed to the other stage, I can kind of put like a few good units down, then I can kind of just AFK and go do something else. But the reward for our characters are huge here, and you guys will see in just a little bit what I mean by that. So, yeah, I'll do that in like half a second. You see what I mean? This boss is 23,000 health. Now, I am doing a good amount of damage shot already, but he's still pretty difficult to destroy, and it takes a little bit of time. And I am almost 99% certain that it's been way more than 7 minutes like it was on the first round. Oh my gosh. Am I even going to be able to beat this right now? Yeah, it really sucks not bringing in any of your... Uh, any of your farm units, such as my steed wagon, because now I'm kind of just stuck. Like, oh my gosh, I might not be able to win this. These guys have way too much health. Oh man, I think I made a mistake actually, guys. These guys have way too much health. The only thing I can do right now- oh my gosh, he summoned more puppets. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna lose this. Hmm. I don't remember this being this hard, okay? This Puppet Master is insanely difficult to kill for some reason. But if you set it to attack the strongest, at least Broly still keeps attacking him. Um, hopefully he'll die, but... He's kind of getting way too many puppets out there for me to deal with him. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, go, 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 go. Thank you, okay. Puppet Master's dead. I can sell every single one of these units here. And then what I can do is I can put, like, a Broly in a... Dio here, so put a Broly here, upgrade this Broly, okay, he at least has the beam, and then I need to put a Dio here, and hopefully this Dio will sell, oh, he doesn't sell for that much, ah, this is going to be kind of close, there's a ton of puppets going right here, actually, let's go attack the last, oh man, these guys have way too much health, and I actually do think I lose this, as you guys can see, it's so much harder to do this than it is to do the other game mode. 
which is why it is so much better to actually uh, do the first world for player levels. Um, yeah, this is kind of embarrassing! I, I mean, this is the best I could do, you know? These guys got so much health, and so what I did is I kind of just spawned a ton of Brolies, and I was hoping that the Brolies would be able to kill them. It looks like they did their job, thankfully. And these guys are finally going to lose, but that was way too stressful for me to try to farm experience like this, guys. You see what I mean? This guy got all the way to the end and nearly ended my entire career. But we did it, we won, and we only got 50 player experience. But on the right side, you see that Erwin went from level 18 to 21, Goku leveled up twice, Madara almost leveled up, um, Dio leveled up, and then Broly also got to level 30. So we got a ton of character experience, but it took us 12 minutes, so that's an extra 5 minutes. In the time I can basically complete 2 of the first world, I completed 1 of this last world. But, the point of doing this last world is to get this ramen bowl, and I actually got 8, which is the most I've ever gotten when doing this. And you're gonna see just how OP 8 ramen bowls actually can get. So, over here, when you go to your units, and you fuse everything. So let's level up. I want to level up Broly. So feed Broly. This is the first world item, the Senzu Bean. It looks like it gives you 25 experience, which is fine. This is the second world. It gives you like 50, but look at how much the ramen gives you. The ramen gives you 250 experience. If I feed all those, he's gonna get a ton of levels because of the ramen. I'm actually gonna go ahead and feed Erwin though. There we go, level 26, because he's pretty helpful actually, and boom. As you guys can see, character level versus player level. I hope you guys like this. I'll see you later. Reese's Pieces. Bye!